G'day Jaff Adventures! Terry King here, welcome to the channel and welcome to another 200 series mod video. If you've been following the channel you know I've got this car modded to death and there's probably not a whole lot more things that I can do to it. But I did find one mod that is completely frivolous but is super cool. And you know what? It's dead dead easy to do. If you're interested in what I'm talking about, check this short video out. I am stoked with the results. Of course you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title of the video, you know I'm talking about replacing the horn on my Land Cruiser. Before I get into the how, let's answer the question, why bother? Well first of all, they sound like crap. You got what I consider a really tough looking truck with a little meep meep of a pissy little horn and I'm actually embarrassed to use it. Secondly, I don't use the horn in anger often, but when I do, I want it to convey a message. And at the moment, the message that the factory horn conveys is impotence. Thirdly, it's relatively cheap and dead easy. So let's jump online and let's make this purchase. All right, here's the website where we're going to get the horns, Amayama. We pop in our part number, we hit the magic search button, and it pulls up two for shipping into Queensland, one out of Japan and one out of the United Arab Emirates. The one out of Japan is 90 bucks. See, we add that to the cart, boom, and we go to check out. Well, there we got it. Let's see what's in the box. Genuine Toyota parts, so that's cool. Ah, we got some destructions. I mean, how hard could it be to fit these? I hope not too hard because all of these destructions are in Japanese. And my Japanese is limited to Kaiju and Godzilla. Okay, we'll set those aside for a rainy day. What do we got in the box? Two horns, let's have a look. Toyota Premium Horn, 500 hertz. And in bag number two, Toyota Premium Horn, 400 hertz. Well, that's interesting, they're two different frequencies. This is cool, the camera might not pick this up. I'll do a close up. That is 1G3, it's a metallic sparkle, which is the same paint coat as on my car. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the car, pop the bonnet, and see how difficult it is to mount these suckers. Let's do a decibel reading inside of the car, shall we? And this is with the original Toyota horns. 67.5. Sixty-seven point five decibels inside of the car. Got Jill climbing into the car now. I'm standing about 15 meters away and she's gonna hit the horn for me. We got background noise of about 38 decibels. 93 decibels. Now let's start the install. All right, the horns are located underneath this panel here somewhere, so we've got to pull that off for starters. This is dead easy. These clips just push in the center and then pop out. Once you undo those clips, that just pops out of there. Easy peasy. Here's a little culprit we're after here. There's one here on the passenger side. And a second one here on the driver's side. Looks like there's one bolt holding them on and one electrical plug. By the way, if you don't have yourself a set of these ratchet spanners, they are awesome. Get yourself a set. I've lived, with, lived without them for many, many years of my life and I'll never get those years back again. There's the factory electrical connector there. It's just got a little tab on the side of it that you push down and it pops right out. There's our two Toyota premium horns and there's one of our factory horns that were on it. So if size matters, you gotta go with the premium horns, don't you? Now you've got a 500 hertz and a 400 and I don't know which side goes on which. I suspect if you were going to put them on like the factory intended, they would probably go like that. So let's button those things up inside the car. Got a lot of shadows here, so might not be able to see anything, but first things first, we plug them in. Sweet, the factory plugs fits right straight in. Mm 
well if that is not the easiest install that I've ever done I don't know what is let's knock the other side over there's our plug there pop that in pull it out easy as new horn click straight in very cool that's it install done pop our panel back on all right that panel's locked down let's test these horns out back in the cab new horns installed let's test the decibel reading 68.4 Again, I'm about 15 meters from the car. Let's see what sort of decibel reading and note we get. Oh, much better note. 86 decibels. All right, get out of my way. Ninety-six decibels. So here's the results of our test. In column A, I've got our test location and all of the readings are in decibels. So the original factory horn in cab came in at 67.5 decibels and the premium horn came in at 68.4, so a bit louder. At 3 meters distance, we had a 97 versus 99, so again a few decibels higher. At 15 meters distance, it actually went the other way around, went from 93 to 86. And at 15 meters distance inside of another car, the original factory horn was 60 and the premium horn was 62. So what's my summary out of all of this? The original horn really does sound piss weak. It sounds like the Roadrunner from Bugs Bunny going meep meep. And the new horn sounds a lot tougher. And the lower frequency, I believe, penetrates further. Think of it like this. When you're trying to sleep at night and somebody's got music playing in the distance, you can often hear the bass line of the music, but you rarely can hear the cymbals or the higher frequencies. That's what I think we're seeing here. Here's a back-to-back -back recording of the two horns to help you make a determination about whether you prefer one or the other. By the way, I make zero dollars from the videos I put together on YouTube. I would be very humbled if you subscribed and dropped a comment down below. That keeps me motivated to keep pumping out the content for you guys. So without further ado, here's the two sound bites side by side. You can make your own determination. Keep the shiny side up, everyone. Bye now.